So I've got this door to paint on this staircase. Um, this is what I'm using. It's water based and it's really good. What you want to do first of all is remove the handle. Uh, there's no point in getting paint all over that. Then I'm going to wash the door down with some warm soapy water. Remove any muck and dust. Uh, allow that to dry and then I'm going to wipe over any of the bits where there's mainly grease. Um, I'm going to use some methylated spirits for that. Once all that's done, then you can sand it down and it's ready to paint. I'll show you some of the stuff I'm going to use. So some flash and some methylated spirits. Um, I've got a nice sponge pad. They're good for getting in all the difficult bits. And this uh, P240. It's very fine sandpaper and because the woodwork is very smooth you don't have to use anything rough on it. All you're after doing is keying the surface for the next paint. Now this it doesn't require any undercoat. Just two coats of that, job done. Ready to paint this now. All the preparations done. I've took the handle off. I've wedged it a bit at the bottom. So I'll show you getting the paint out now. And I'm going to use pure bristle brushes. I've got a one inch and a one and a half inch. I mean, quite big enough for this. You could use a two inch if you want, but this is me. This is more floppy than the two inch I've got, so I'm using this one and a half inch. <clears throat> you need a nice bit of bristle on your brush when you're using water-based paints. Um, you don't want to be scrubbing it about with a little stumpy thing, it's no good. So, you want to give your paint a good stir up. Wipe any uh, paint off the lid first. You don't want that running off onto the dust sheets. And then give it a good stir up. You've got to make sure you scrub the bottom. Sometimes it's a lot thicker in the car in the, around the edges. Make sure you get everywhere. Give it a good stir up. It is good paint this, I like it. It's nice and thick. And then pour yourself some out into your kettle. Never want too much. You never go over a quarter full in a paint kettle. You can always put more in. If you ever spill it, you're not spilling that much. Right. I'm ready to start. What you want to do is work your brushes into your paint first. Make sure there's a bit of paint in the stock. You never start your work with a dry brush. You just dip in and put your paint on. You have to load your brush up. So we're ready to go. Now, because we're short in space here and the camera lens isn't picking everything up, I'm going to show you the top section and then probably the bits of the door in sections and then the finished job. So I'm going to start at the top on this panel and then I'll bring the top in and then this side in down here. Take the casing right to the bottom and then 
on both sides and then finish off with the door. So starting off with me one and a half inch on that panel. Make sure you get your paint into them corners. Now you've got to work quite quickly with water-based paint because it dries really quick. Um, with this being satin, it's a lot easier to put on than gloss would be. Gloss tends to flash in, when you're putting it on. Uh, very difficult to use water-based gloss. But this is just brilliant. If you get any hairs coming out of your brush, just get them out. Bring that bottom bead in. Whatever happens, this is going to need two coats with it being water based. It's just not got the same opacity as oil. But saying that, it is really good paint to use. I'm so impressed with it. It's, uh, it's reasonable in prices, you know, that's the thing. And the trick is to have plenty of paint on, you know, you've got to have a certain amount of a layer of paint. Gonna bring down this edge and then that edge to the drop down and then finish the two edges to the skirting board.
just a bit of a hair uh, that was. Good thing about satin is you can go slightly back over it within a certain length of time. If this was gloss, that would just flash and you couldn't do it. Right, I'm going to move down now. Just show you this little bit of casing coming down here where the blue is. Cutting in. Oh, it's never easy. With it getting two coats, this is a guard. So on the second coat, you straighten it. But I mean, just look at the opacity on that paint. It's unbelievable. And the water base. Fantastic. Just going to run a little bit more. Wall is really uneven there. So difficult. Can't leave that and tidy that up on the next coat. That's no, not too bad. I'm going to show you how to do this panel now, same as the top panel, and then um, I'll show you the bottom two panels and a few of the sides, but nearly there now. So again, starting on that top bead, bringing that across, always keeping in mind that you've got to be quick in what you're doing because it's water based. Try and not go over them edges too much. It's not as not as critical as gloss, but it's still critical not to go around that edge uh, as you're doing the panels. So apply your paint, spread it out, get a nice even coat, and as you've got the nice even coat, you lay it off. Now laying it off is about trying to close up your brush marks, and that's where a floppy brush is easier than a stiff brush because a stiff brush just seems to scratch them. So. I see them goes. I always touch them edges and then just touch them up. OK, 
and every paint is different to apply. You generally put them on the same way, but each one has a bit of a life of its own, so certain paints you won't do certain things with. I'll just give you a quick look at that, closer look, and then we'll move on to them bottom. I'm impressed with that. It's really good paint. Definitely needs two coats, but on the first coat, that's done exceptionally well. And then look at, you know, covering the blue straight down the side. Unbelievable. And that's a water-based satin. Right. Onto them two bottom panels, and then I'll show you a few crossbars, and then that's it. I'll show you the finished door. So I've got you a bit closer into these panels. You're not going to see it all, but you'll get a closer view of some of the brush technique. So I'm not going to talk now. I'm just going to do both of these panels.
Now you do this center bar. Don't overlap onto the next panel. Very important that, especially with water based. Doesn't give you much chance to uh, lay off the next panel into it. So you've got to be careful. And then you're not going to see this, but I'm going to do this bottom panel next. But I'll move the camera. Then I'm going to move back to the top and do the very top panel. Very top bar there. Let's just make sure that's in focus. So yeah, basically it's this top bar and then this one. Bring the sides down. And then finally, you've got down this other edge. But what you need to do first before you do this other edge is the side of the door. So, using me one inch on this, I'm just 
going to bring that edge in. Just face that lock. So that's what's inside of that. I'm going to take this straight to the bottom, this edge, and it's done. And all I've got to do is bring down that side. Alright, stretch that side now. That's more or less it. This so I'll show you the finish now. All finished. And that is impressive paint, that is. For a water based, that's unbelievable. Yeah, jobs are good.